Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to America's most beloved firehouse morning show. A cup of Joe and some Fuego. Oh my God! Oh my God! Good morning, Leatherhead Nation. Welcome back to a cup of Joe and some Fuego. This is the show that brings you all the news and views and pictures of the industry just for you guys, sent in by you guys. Speaking of which, guys, start sending them in. Coops podcast at gmail.com. Send pictures of your rigs, some pictures of jobs you've been through, some pictures of your kitchen tables, tattoos, mustaches, uh, pranks that you do, anything pertaining to the fire service. Send it to us if you want to see it on this show. Let's see some company spirit there. Let's see some company integrity. Let's go, man. Start sending them so I can get you up here. So the first place we're going to go, we are going to go to our guy, James Lawrence. He says that he made this job. Says, I I made this job while I was doing a ride-along. He didn't say where he was from. He didn't say what fire service, uh, but that's from James Lawrence. Same pictures he has sent in. This is a picture of his great uncle who was appointed in 1956, back in the day, B-I-T-O-D, back in the old days. Let's go to, speaking of uh, the old days, let's go to the younger generation right here. We got my man Jimmy from New Jersey Fire. His son just got on the job in Newark. He's getting it done. Went to his first job the other day. Look at a smile on this kid's face. Bam. Ear to ear, he's a pro being Newark, went to his first job, and boy, was it a good one. That looks like hats and horns right there, bro. Getting it done. James Jr. doing it, and here he is after the job, all snotted up. Look at his helmet. What a difference from his helmet. Then, till now, bro, looks like that boy some saw some Fuego. This next one comes in from... Uh, who are you coming in from here? Victor De, De Pamphilus. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's the other one. That's the wrong one. What am I saying here? That's at the end when we're talking about something else. It's the uh, there we go. Let's get to it. It's a dude. I practically choked laughing when you complained about resuming cup of joe and fuego and asked for material and you said only receive one email contribution i've sent me many things in the past some of you some not never have i received any sort of email acknowledgement or reply well here you go brother i sympathize with your reaction it's a two-sided street i post images from the firehouses us and beyond thousands of pics less than 100 clicks all right, here's the new quarters of engine 268, ladder 137. The, quarter, for the current quarter is damaged beyond repair or, or the city willing to repair during Superstorm Sandy. So they are building or renovating a former HSBC bank into a new firehouse around the block. So that looks pretty cool, man. That is a brand new, used to be an HC, HSBC bank in the Rockaways, turning into a new firehouse. And it actually looks like the rescue's new firehouse is somewhat uh, from the front there. Yep. Now we're going to go to a boy, Darren Phillips. He's a Canuck. We're going up, up into Canada, bro. And he writes, uh, Robert Heath officially hung up his helmet, actually took it home with him. From White Rock Fire Rescue Services in British Columbia, Canada. His last day being April 16, 2024, which also happened to be his 65th birthday. Rob put in a whopping 45 years with the department and has always been known for the stash. Rob has missed it all the whole for his quick wit, ball busting, and his thunderous laugh, although he still seems to show up at the pub after our training nights. Congrats, Rob. Rob, congratulations, man. 45 years on the J-O-B. That's a great accomplishment. There he is with our boy, Darren Phillips, getting it done. I wish you many years of collecting your pension, my friend. Let's go to some videos now. This one is sent in from, it says, good evening. Just like to submit a video of my department from fire back in October of 2023, Thomas, 
Thompsonville Fire Department is one of five districts located in Enfield, Connecticut. Thompson Thompsonville is also 100% full-time career station in the town of uh, Squad Company with four guys on a shift, a driver. You got to learn how to ride, ride a little bit here, brother. Uh, a driver, officer, and two firefighters in the back. We do roughly 2,200 runs a year. We're running the engine first due the process of putting our new squad in service. The fire was about seven doors down from the station. Wow, that's awesome. Engine 21 responds, laid down the line from a nearby hydrant, a hand line, and hand the fire knocked down before mutual aid arrived. So let's roll that one, bro. Here we go. You ain't kidding, bro. They did a fabulous job knocking that down, bro, before mutual aid, he said. Fantastic, man. Great job. Quick turnout. Well, there's only a couple of those down, so it has to be a quick turnout, right? But great job. Where are we going next? We're going to the FDNY. Why? Because this is the greatest place in the world. Whoop. Love it. Love it. 236. Everybody knows that. I mean, Louie talked about if we go to any engine company in the city, I always pick 236 engine. Love that place, bro. Please uh, bear with me. I know it's a little uppy and bumpy with going back with the videos and pictures. I'm doing it myself. Uh, I'm kind of learning on the fly here. So that's why there's so many fuck ups. So there you go. Where are we going to stay right after this? We're staying in the FDNY, bro. Here's our last one of the day. This is in Manhattan, 1077. Boys in Manhattan doing it. I'm from about 6860, just 151 East 31 Street. Seems like it's in the 3rd Avenue. Fire Apartment 14, boy. I'm from about 6860, just 151 East 31 Street. Seems like it's in the 3rd Avenue. Fire Apartment 14, boy. 1934, Manhattan 469. And calling the 6th Battalion. Battalion 6. 
I'm now receiving the class three for your box, as well as uh, the call with a third party that's... And now to 1077, transmitter box 686, address 151 East 31, Lexington Avenue, 3rd Avenue, fire apartment 14, boy, W, as in boy. And calling engine 65. 65. 65, you designated CFR. 65, town 4. And calling engine 26. Battalion 6, got. Uh, negative battalion 6, no sits. Battalion 6, receive. Common hand, okay. Progress, I'll get back to you with the rest of the size up. All right, 10 you acknowledge the uh, latitude you new designated in your fast truck. And calling Battalion 2. Battalion 2, K. Are you designated the safety officer? Battalion 2, 10 4. All units responding 1077 box 686. Attack stairwell designated W is William. And calling engine 26. 26. And calling engine. Love it, bro. I'd love to see that white, gray smoke, knowing the boys are putting water on the fire, doing a fantastic job. Well, that is it, my friends. That will put a stamp on this episode of A Cup of Joe and some Fuego. Be sure to send me your pictures. Send me, if you want to see your company on here, if you want to see your kitchen table, your firehouse, job that you go to, send them, coobspodcast at gmail.com. I'll see you at the next one, bro. Uh, you know what I like to say, bro? I love the smell of cockloft burning in the morning. Thank you, fellas. We'll see you soon.